When we meet someone, it's because they were attracted to us on some level, whether it be mentally, emotionally, or physically. We attracted that person into our life. So before we actually get to know the other person, we are in our own vortex. We are not worried about them. We are not focused on them. We are focusing on ourselves. And yes, we start to talk. You know, we start to get to know each other. And eventually, if the relationship lasts long enough, we begin to grow feelings for one another. But when we begin to grow feelings for one another, what happens is, if we have childhood traumas, we get out of our own vortex and now we shift into theirs. We want to start controlling them. We want to start projecting our fears onto them. If we have childhood traumas where we felt as though we were abandoned as a child, we begin to hold this other person responsible for how we feel internally. We try to make sure that we can do anything or everything possible to make sure that they don't leave. And so our energy becomes resistant. It becomes needy. Your neediness will start to repel that other person's energy because now they feel suffocated and nobody wants to feel as if they're suffocating. If you want the relationship to work, you have to call your energy back. You have to focus on yourself. You have to stay fully present in the moment and not allow your subconscious mind or even your patterns to control your reality. When you shift your awareness, it's easy to live every day, day by day, instead of living in the past or trying to control something in the future. Basically, don't stop doing the things that you love doing, the things that make you feel happy, just because you're talking to someone or even in a relationship. So it's so important that you do not lose yourself in somebody else. You have to be mindful that we are here to complement each other's energy, not to fight for it. And when you respect your own energy, you become magnetic as fuck. And when you're magnetic, people don't want to leave. They want to stay. Don't project your childhood traumas onto somebody else. Stay in alignment. Let go of your fears and express gratitude for that experience. And I guarantee you, they'll want to stay.